proposal to redevelop the Align Energy Center could get a significant investment from the state. Governor Evers is proposing that his capital budget cover $30 million of the first phase of the expansion project. Rose Schmidt talked to community leaders and stakeholders who say Dane County and the entire state could benefit from the plan. Rose? Yes, yeah, so well, Dane County officials expect that the project to expand the exhibition hall would create more than 600 net new jobs and generate $25 million in income tax money over the next two decades. Under that proposal, the state would provide a third of the money and the rest would come from taxpayer money as well as private partnerships like naming rights. You can almost always expect something to be going on inside the Alliant Energy Center's exhibition hall. We're making this investment because many of the venue users have outgrown the facility. Governor Tony Evers is announcing that the state plans to chip in $30 million for a planned expansion project that will convert the hall into a full-service convention center, almost doubling the size in order to compete with other locations. Many of the prospective users are opting out for other uh, venues with uh, that have adequate space and amenities located outside of the state of Wisconsin. A trend that Evers wants to stop and instead expand the number and types of businesses that come to the area, creating an economic development boom. So often South Madison is looked at as last and, and uh, there's not a lot of investment uh, made here traditionally. Currently, Alliant Energy Center hosts events like the Dane County Fair and the World Dairy Expo, and organizers are excited to see the end result. It's one that we think has some real opportunities for improvement for our attendees and our exhibitors at World Dairy Expo. The bad news for them is that the project is expected to take years to complete. There's also probably some challenges relative to the construction phase and, and the timing of the, of the project, and we'll certainly have to work around those to minimize the, the impacts to our attendees. But the good news is that with the state's dairy industry facing challenges, county leaders say this expansion couldn't come at a better time. It's still the dairy state, and that's why what we do here has an impact statewide. Dane County officials say design plans are still being drawn up to expand that of exhibition hall, so they don't yet know when shovels will go in the ground, but it will not be this year. All right, Rose, thank you.